a wind turbine that bucks the traditional, grandma's rocking chair gets an upgrade, and a school that strives for zero on this week's Green Tech Weekly! Welcome to show number 56, the tech show with a sustainable technology in the name. Well, sort of. Let's get to the reason why we're here. Which would be... Green energy startup called Safan, based in Tunisia. Oh, that's a small country at the top of Africa. They've invented a bladeless wind turbine. The design works like a sail on a ship. It takes kinetic energy and turns it into electricity. They're calling it the Safonian. Oh, I see what they did there. Yeah, because it looks like a gramophone and it sounds like a gramophone. Actually, it's after the ancient wind divinity worshipped by the Carthaginian Mediterranean culture, which predates modern Tunisia. And welcome back to History of the World with your host... Oh, ha, ha, ha. Ah, just messing with you. The bladeless turbine. How would they even call it a turbine? I was wondering the same thing, but they do say that it's a zero blade technology. A turbine has blades, and this looks more like a cone. Well, aside from the naming convention, they chose the prototype has double the efficiency at half the cost. With, a, with specs like that, they can call it anything they want, even Eco Geeko. <laughs> that name's taken. They do have some skeptics, but they are looking for a manufacturer, and they're hopeful to be selling them within two years. Really, the name's taken. <laughs> In our second story, we have a way to rock all those apps on your iPhone with a rocking chair. Oh, boy. Mikasa Lab, based out of Zurich, has put together a rocking chair that'll charge your iDevice and the speakers built into the headrest. That's super awesome. Great. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that rocks. Um, No. They say an hour of rocking will get your iPad about 35%, so expect a lot of rocking. Mikasa Lab is going to work on an Android version, and it'll be shipping late next year. By then, let's hope that they ditch the proprietary connector and just use standard USB. Yep, because then it'd be bring your own cables. Mom, he threw cables at me again. <laughs> for our last story, a New York school is going for the coveted net zero status. The school will be in Staten Island and will have the usual solar panels, but will also be built facing south with greener architecture, have solar thermal, a garden, geothermal heat exchanger, roof sunlights, and a long list of other things that make this place greener than any other school we've ever seen before. They are calling this a sustainability lab test case for other schools. The 66,000 square foot building will house 444 very green students and should be done sometime in 2015. Thanks for watching another show. Click the links below to see all the info about the stories today. And while you're clicking things, hit the subscribe and the like button to help us out. Follow us on Facebook. And as always, remember to rethink it green. Rethink it green. Is it just me or do, does laundry not exist in cartoons? Cause they're always wearing the same shirts. All, like every cartoon. <laughs> a lot of cartoons I've watched though, they've opened their closet and they're all the same clothes. The funny ones are when they open the closet and they're all different clothes. And you're like, why aren't you wearing all that? The only day that the camera follows them is the day that they wear this shirt. Every week, that shirt. <laughs> he didn't talk like that, I would assume though. <laughs> Because he was like Charlie Brown, not like his teacher. Yeah. How do those kids learn anything from those teachers? English must be really hard. That's the worst they were class. They were in third grade for 50 years. Apparently they didn't learn anything. That's why. Never move forward. And that, my friends, is why the American educational system is nowhere near as good as other countries.